Wills, he's so unproven. He committed to Auburn, he sat and he waited there. Transferred and he had to sit and wait at Liberty. Here comes the heat! We're talking about a guy who maybe last year was a third and fourth round pick. Hey, Malik Willis. Senior year, the media had me 123rd out of 130 starting in FBS quarterbacks. I ain't gonna never forget that. Now all of a sudden, he's sitting at a top 10 pick potentially. He's got a chance between February and April to make $20 million. Okay, hopefully everything go how it's supposed to. It's so polarizing. I've seen people say, we should spend a top 10 pick on him. I've seen people say he's a third or fourth round prospect. Really? People are calling this one of the weakest quarterback classes in a long time. They tripping. <laughs> First read quarterback. Yeah, pretty well. Dang. Certainly a gamble. What? <laughs> I hope this story helps somebody. I really came from the bottom for real. Malik Willis, is he the guy? You was made for this, Lee. I promise you, I love you, bro. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> You gotta do something to make yourself happy. You gotta, you gotta have something in this world that make you happy. You keep waking up every day. Family is very important to me. That curling, yeah. <laughs> hey, that man, money, money. My dad, cool as a cucumber. That's my dog. He the one who got me right, for real. Work. I think I gotta be elite. I think I gotta be elite. He got me and my brother doing the workouts at a young age. Boy, nine. Boy, nine. Boy, nine. We was getting strong. <laughs> oh, yeah, check us out, check us out. Yeah, little bro, he like my clone, for real. <laughs> That's my twin, for real. That's my dog. We might say the same thing every once in a while. Yeah, he went back to the hockey. My sister, she the life of the party. She turned up. Oh, I told you. <laughs> yeah, dude. She the social butterfly of the group. We super protective over her. Why you gotta take a video of everything you do? If anybody wanna find you, they know where you at. They just gotta look at your Instagram story. I don't put my location. They don't know. It's coming. People crazy. Nah, I do anything for her. And I put my hands on anybody for it too. You can't play with her. Yes, sir. My mom, a solid person. I lost. I lost. Please. You can't let them beat you. Come on. Come back round. Always calm in situations and seeing both sides of them and trying to give us the best advice she can. Look at your face. That's how you be losing. Because you act yourself like that. I hate to lose. It's really bad. <laughs> if we're talking about who hates losing the most, probably me. Me and my dad, we be tweaking. <sighs> Close second is bleak. Like, we be getting mad, for real. It's just like. <laughs> I mean, that's not just bowling, that was football. Myself and Malik, we don't want to talk. <laughs> Jack, I go out there and hit him in the mic. Funky, think I need it till I need a funky. Spending eight to ten inside the club so they would notice, but that ain't it. But it's still the picture that we paint. Living for the club, so they got a plan till they get hit in the mic. It's gonna be basic. They don't do anything as far as I used to be sick of my stuff. Even on like video games. I'm gonna go and play and try to beat that ball. Willis rolls. I compare it to watching, you know, a human joystick. She tries to scramble and get away. Steps up, throws out a man in the end zone. It's caught. Touchdown, Liberty. Just freaking nature, man. Willis looks to evade and somehow escapes. Malik Willis is who DC in a Liberty uniform. He's got a first down in it was like controlled chaos. You can kind of tell like in game when the crowd goes, <sighs> he's in there. Yeah.
There's no quit. Bouncing off dudes, throwing dots. To throw. It's a missile. Being a general, man, that's what he is. That's what you better do. He's gonna go ahead and beat me, man. He got lucky, though. I got smacked. I was pissed off. I got smacked. I ain't even gonna say nothing. Right. <laughs> There's gonna be a whole lot of. I, 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 clearly. I, 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 I ain't seen the video, but I know I was just sitting down over here like this. <sighs> I try not to show it because I knew he was on camera. As a fan, you know, you listen to the media, you listen to the sports centers and stuff, ESPN. What are your full thoughts on Malik Willis? Unbelievable athlete. Huge arm. But. Like so unproven. When he was at Auburn, all he did was come in and run. When he was at Liberty, his best win was against Syracuse basketball school. His whole career, he's been challenged. Coming out of high school, they said he's not a quarterback. Okay, they just be talking. He goes to Auburn. And they say he's not ready. I felt like the man, but I wasn't the man yet. He does what he does for two years at Liberty. Well. Competition wasn't great enough, okay? My feeling was, man, he's a first-round draft pick. Why wouldn't they take him? I like this guy, Malik Willis. I like Willis. We need a quarterback. Big arm. We want Malik. Tomlin loves him. Steelers are really rocking with him. Tomlin went out to dinner with him. We're going to be Steelers fans. Like, I was I was looking at Steelers jerseys. Yeah, I think Malik could fit as well. And he don't mind running, either. He'd let him hype you up. Knock you down. Raw athlete. Raw arm. If I'm a GM, I would take my chances on him. In the first round? Let's see. The number two quarterback on both Mel Kuyper and Todd McShay's draft boards. I'd rather not let him do nothing. i just let them do them. Just went bowling with my family, man. I got beat real bad. It's a real competitive family, so sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. I bet I get them next time, though. We're going to be all right. It's right here to be. What you rapping? Where you at or where you from? Everybody in my family is competitive. Even my grandma. We won't beef with each other until the beef come, then we all up. Easy. Too damn easy, man. I felt like I was throwing trash the other day, so I feel like I gotta come out here and get right. Each year, there's an important part of the offseason. That's the pre-draft process. This is your opportunity to get your PhD in football. Oh, it didn't work. It did not work. Now you gotta learn how to pros do. Each day consists of the guys waking up, going to throw, going to speed and agility, doing their weight room, watching film. You want to dive into detail on this play so they know that you know exactly why you did the things that you're doing. Yoga, doing their nutrition. With him, we really want him to lean out leading up to the combine. We've planned all of his meals, his protein intake, his carb intake, how he snacks if he's allowed to have wings, um, things like that. Really try to cut that stuff out and make sure he's feeling good uh, leading up to the combine. He's nasty, though. Attack! Good. You don't want to be a quarterback and then go to the combine 15 pounds of weight. Now that just shows everybody that you haven't been working. Just take care of your body. I mean, football's a vicious and violent sport, so people are going to be trying to kill you out there. You got to be able to take the family. week before we throw at combine. I really just want to take a book bag everywhere I go. I don't be wanting to take that whole thing. I bet, I bet there's these things called airplanes, but I bet you can bring a backpack and a, a suitcase that rolls. Every moment Malik is out there, he's like full of joy. When I first met him, I was a little confused by that because I wasn't sure he was taking it as serious. Then as I, I got to know him, I understood that he had the ability to compartmentalize. When his time was up, he was ready to work. Malik Willis' personality radiates. It takes a lot to make him have a bad day. When I wake up in the morning, I'm like, yes, another one. You know what I'm saying? We stacking days, baby. We keep waking up. See what you got, Lee. Lee, it's a lot of pressure. Not really. You gotta live up to that. I ain't got to. <laughs> I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. You gotta have fun with this, man. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> <laughs>
you not have fun like training quarterbacks for a living. Man, I don't think you can have fun doing anything. They comfortable. They look comfortable. <laughs> Is that your way of saying they look good? <laughs> They look uncomfortable. I don't think I would do anything with those. I'd probably talk more than anybody else. Did you just fart? Yeah. <laughs> nobody's gonna know. <laughs> you look at Malik Willis, he's so unproven. I feel like in many ways, the draft process, the combine, the pro day, all that stuff is gonna be really important for him. One of the major parts of the NFL draft process is the combine and the interviews at the combine. Let's watch you against Syracuse. I am gonna ask you to get up on the board a little bit and just explain to me some of the things that are going on. Does that make sense? What they're trying to dig in and find out is how much you know about the system that you just played in. I, I know football, guys. Make sure you don't let too much silence go on, right? You wanna communicate with them. I promise. Uh, the center. Uh, Keep going. Running. Talk to me and draw. Whoa, 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 whoa. I Here. just talked about the protection though. I know, but you didn't draw 11 people. Oh, it's a total boomer bus situation. Total boomer bus. I, I don't know what that was. For some... The purpose is for them to annoy you, really. Tomorrow, what we'll do is go through another game. Because I think I want you to be more polished going into the final day. Just be more detail oriented when you're talking about stuff. This is an opportunity of a lifetime. I couldn't do it. Then you f***ed it up. I have no reason to be scared now. Hey, you don't think what? I know that? We have motion going on and then you I understand that. <laughs> I didn't mean to miss. I think Malik's going to dominate if he just goes out there and he's able to be authentic to himself. It's kind of been the message to Malik. This whole part. Just be yourself. See? That's a song somewhere. I can't remember though. I'm sure you'll figure out the <laughs> Crazy thinking back, just seeing how far football has taken me. So many people helped me get to this point. Now it's time to get back. I'm about to go surprise these kids at the middle school with some new gear for the season. Stay tuned. You're talking about a guy who maybe last year was a third and fourth round pick. Now all of a sudden is sitting at a top 10 pick potentially? That's $10 million difference. I mean, we're talking $20 million if he can get up to the top three. The purpose of the NFL combine is to physically and mentally gauge the individuals that you possibly could be drafting. That's eloquently as I could put it. You like that? That's an SAT word. How was your interviews today? Who asked you weird questions? The media? Team just wants to know how you're gonna be able to help their organization win games. How much do you know about football? The media is looking for a story. Is that so? It's weird. I ain't been in no city above the Mason Dixon line except for Syracuse. I thought it was gonna be like cornfields and stuff though. I seen that on Criminal Minds. We came from the bottom. We're here now. It wasn't like I was out there, no five star, four star, and no camps and stuff. I didn't even really watch football until like high school. I used to think it was boring. Wait, did you decide that football wasn't boring? When I started like getting better at it. <laughs> said your sense of humor is Larry David dry. I don't know who that is, but... You little curvy enthusiasm? Mm. I be wanting to be like, like real, like, yeah. What type of offense best suits your style of play? Uh, one that score points. I mean, that's all I got on that one. But now you get a chance to see him with NFL caliber speed, NFL caliber hands. Like we know you can throw it a country mile. How's your timing? Can you hit the guy in stride? And I think that's really the test of his arm. Really don't want to leave the hotel, so you can turn and see. The area we had to use to throw. It's the second floor of a hotel. Just want to get that feel for tomorrow. We want to walk through it in our heads and we just want to feel comfortable when we get out there. Thanks. Yeah? yeah. That's good. Running some coaches, running some people. Just to really just talk to the Panthers on the walk over here. It's like, yeah, we're going to come spend some time with you and we're going to get you to come down to uh, Carolina a lot. Okay. Everybody said Malik killed his interviews. That's something that everybody wants to know. Is are you comfortable being who you are? Man, you can slang that thing. Yes, yeah, sir. Because then you can be comfortable around a group of men when you have to lead them as a quarterback. So not only was he able to display the information that we wanted to know, but he was able to display who he is as a person. Hey, and that's a catch. Good, man. He's slang. That's a completion. Until 5 o'clock, I have some free time. I'll probably go to Nike Suite. They're going to send us away with a few pair of cleats and that type of stuff. How much does the off the field stuff matter to you? Obviously, high character guy. We saw the Twitter video of him giving out clothing to a woman on the street. 
I seen her, like homeless and pregnant. Like she's pregnant. I was like, dang. She had a jacket on, but I was just like, I got some clothes, like. I had to get her some clothes on my way back to the hotel. I didn't think it was that big of a deal though, bro. I just get so drunk. I got a story for you. I thank you. Uh, I got a phone call. I ain't gonna go into it, but I got a phone call on the way in to uh, drop her up. You know, it wasn't great news. I never want to show my emotions at work, man, but it was one of the times, bro. I, I couldn't hold it back. Malik seen it. You know, I'm standing like 50 yards away trying to be away from everybody, just observing. And uh, the dude just comes down and checks on me. We talked about it, you know, he's like, all right, you know, I'm gonna pray for you. Life is stressful. You go through way worse stuff in life, so I'm gonna just, you know, be grateful that I get to come out here and play a game. Somebody that's getting ready for the biggest interview of his life is not gonna, like, halt his warm up throws and come and check on one of his trainers to make sure that he's okay. It just speaks to him. The feeling you get from making other people feel that same joy, or you know what I'm saying? You pick somebody up. People be going through stuff, bro. You never know what somebody's going through. I think Malik did a really good job throwing at the combine. I think he knocked people's socks off. I think he looked good. I think he looked really solid. I do think that you can't tell the full scope until you see him at the pro day, but from what I saw, the little taste I saw, I liked it a lot. I got a celebrity golf tournament in Atlanta I'm finna go to. I think golf is a crazy sport. You can shoot a bad shot, but the way you have to lock back in and shoot the next one, I mean, it is exactly what you need in football, especially as a quarterback. I like the peace, the serenity. It's out there in nature. You hear the birds chirping. About to go hit the links, man. It's a mentally tough sport. I promise you that. You gotta have the right mindset to play this. Damn, that's out of bounds. In a little scramble, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna take the best shot of each hole and just Knock him in. You want me to table for you, Sean? What you want me to do? I don't know. He can't stop from blogging for 18 holes. Oh, you, oh you, is that what you're crying? No, I wasn't crying. You know, because, son, uh, busting your balls. It made me think about, uh, not Godfather, Goodfellas. Like, you're just busting my balls. I just gotta go. Yeah. Everybody not golfers. But we're gonna go have fun. You got believe. All of us? Yeah. Okay, sick. Bro, I love the movies. All them monster movies. I can't get it up off the ground if it ain't teeth up. Glove got me feeling like Michael Jackson. I'm not the best golfer, but I'm not the worst. I'm definitely getting better. He's just a regular person when he's hanging out with the guys. Like you don't, you don't think he's Damn. this top player in the nation. So I can look like a real golfer. Oh look. It looks good too. Now I look like some. Now I look like somebody. Yeah, you can hear <laughs> it. You don't think that he would later on become the projected first round pick. Who f with you so far? The Lions, the oh, yeah, Falcons. I'm from Detroit. Oh, for real? I, I mean, I don't really want you to go there, but if you do, I'll still be excited though. I didn't think nobody knew me. I didn't think nobody knew about Liberty for real. So I ain't. Uh, I assume nobody knows who I am today, like, ask me something. Oh, what position do you play? Quarterback. Oh, yeah. yeah. All you no, right. gotta look at my highlights, cuz. Yeah, I'm like... It's one of the most humble human beings I've ever met, and that's something special with a guy with that immense amount of talent. Our Lions ain't got no QB. Atlanta ain't got no QB. Seattle's, bro. I thought I was gonna graduate and finish my years playing football, so I was like, I'm good. That's what it is. Oh. Yeah. I gotta go up there next week. He's very humble. Like he doesn't let that like that talk get to him. Like he's just very level headed. It's not like, yeah, I'm finna go first round. I'm finna do all this and that. You know what I'm saying? It's more like, yeah, like I'm in a position where I'm able to hopefully be drafted. You know what I'm saying? I'm praying on it. That I really want me to go to Pittsburgh way. with Tomlin. Tomlin, real one. I'm excited to see all my dogs before Pro Day, man. I know they ain't excited.
this probably will be my last chance to show NFL teams what I got preparing for one of the biggest job interviews ever. So it's kind of cool and weird at the same time. Kenny Pickett has put up the better numbers in college. They won the ACC out of nowhere this year. And then you look at Malik Willis, Liberty is a little bit more unheralded, but I think he's only helped his draft stock go up since the season ended. I thought he was gonna have Chick-fil-A biscuits or something. How much stock do you put into being day one ready? To have a quarterback who's ready right now versus a season two? Well, they went red. Oh, I didn't know that was you. There was a lot in the Patrick Mahomes class of they're not day one ready. They said that about Mahomes specifically. Mr. Trubisky was a lot. He was day one ready. But that arm is something else, man. Yeah. And that arm might be the difference of him jumping up in the draft to a top ten pick. That's, again, generational change, like, especially getting picked in the first round. Fully guaranteed. It's fully what guaranteed you gonna that do? Fully. Game. I need that. But that's insane. That's what you're supposed to do. I know yeah. Mahomes had to look at that deal pissed off. Chick fil A's on the way. Mine just go like, lay down in the back room. I had a choice one Chick fil A sandwich or two. This all before we weighed in, so I had to be careful. You only want two, you're sure? Yeah, thank you. Okay. All right. I gotta go to the weight room, man. <laughs> See how much I weigh before I eat this. <laughs> that was gonna look heavy. <laughs> now I was gonna get on that thing, and they gonna say, What just happened? You think I can go win in real quick? Or like, know. see how much I weigh real quick? So I, I was asking around. I'm asking everybody. I'm asking trainers. I'm like, oh, You think I should eat one or two? Because I got two Chick fil A biscuits. I don't even need those biscuits. He's asking you how much you should win. I'm 224 with no breakfast. Dang, I'll be tweaking, bro. What do I be thinking half the time? So what's the murder? One chicken biscuit and not two. I'm really a robot. I'm a bot. <laughs> That's what I am. It's crazy, bro. On a biscuit? Yeah. You want a biscuit too? And them boys acting like they're not hungry. You're just wasting time. We I mean, only get so many ticks on this earth. You know? <laughs> Ain't no point to be tripping about that. Next up, we got Malik Willis. Six, oh, oh, four. 225, 225. Came right at 225, like, mathematician. Most quarterbacks are going to want to throw about 40 balls today at the most. Make your money. Let's go, Johnny. Malik said, I'll throw 70. Show him you're strong. <laughs> that I want to make sure I give every receiver their opportunity also. So that's the kind of guy Malik is. Hey! Your pro day is your opportunity to create your own test. We want to be able to show everybody what our quarterback does really, really well. These are things he does at a high level. Start firing that thing off, man, and just start going. Truthfully, I had to make a gut decision as to whether or not I thought he could play quarterback. Back in the mind, you're thinking, hey man, if I do well enough to get the Lions' attention and they have the two pick, we're talking $20 dollars. Gets the starting nod that first year and by game five, now we start having a different discussion. There's something to this young man. I think it went pretty good. Pulling up to the middle school right now. Just super excited to prize these guys with the gear. Hey, y'all know who this is? Go check it out. Stop being scary. Come on up. So I went like a big recruit and all that stuff. So it was like, you just had to keep working. One, two, three. Yeah. We were at the shop and like, I had asked him, I was like, what you doing? Like, you just staying in Atlanta, you going out there? He was like, I'm going out there. And he looked at his, he looked at his agent or his QB coach. He said, you want to go? I said, uh, yeah, I'll go. <laughs> guys, he said it really nonchalant. Nice, like, if you if he were to tell you, because if you know him, you wouldn't believe it. Like, kind of like we were just playing a game, you know, chilling. Oh yeah, yeah, boys coming to Vegas. Huh? Once the NFL draft, that's a once in a lifetime experience. We weren't expecting to get invitations to the draft. Super excited! I got to bring my family and friends out there. You know, some of my teammates. Seeing him. Uh, getting everything like he deserves and everything he worked for, you know, it was it was really good. Thank you. Thanks, Malik. Quarterback for Liberty, Malik Willis. Yeah. They're gonna give you a color. You're gonna drop back. You get the football. You're gonna drop back to that color. Done, right? And then you're gonna throw it into the net. 
He was facing you know, a lot of adversity, you know, just with this whole situation. Cause like I know what he went through. And just seeing him finally be able to go out there and do his thing, it was like, it was just a really proud moment. It was definitely really cool, that whole process, how they treated us, just all the draftees and just everything that came with it, once in a lifetime opportunity. Definitely a blessing. What's the last couple months been like for you, just prepping for this moment? I already knew the plan. We all knew the plan. I told him the plan when I first met Malik. I said, look, bro. Not much from now, we're gonna be sitting here. Yeah, I said, I said, look, I said, look, bro. <laughs> Cause he was sick about like not playing and stuff at first, or I don't know if he could play. I said, look, bro, I know this year gonna be, you know, whatever, but I'm telling you, bro, so just wait, bro. I'm not gonna speak on it. This is gonna be crazy. It's about to get weird. Like, it's gonna get crazy. And it so did. I'm, I'm just looking at him and I'm like, man, that's, that's my firstborn son. Uh, about to go to the NFL. Nah, we finna get ready, you know what I'm saying? Go out there and stunt. I gotta not eat tonight, so I fit in my suit, so that's good. <laughs> Other than that, we, we enjoying it, man. We gonna have a ball tomorrow. What you think? You think it's gonna take too much off the suit? We know the suit clean. Yeah. We know the suit clean. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it's about. Unnecessary. It would look cleaner if this one of them, though. I ain't trying to look clean though, I'm trying to look fancy. The 2022 NFL Draft is here, let's go! You go to the green room, and you in there just waiting. Nervous. You ain't been nervous for not one game, but you nervous in there. The anticipation is friendly on the first round, but... There's always smoke signals. Maybe Falcons at eight. No Matt Ryan, QB would make sense. You've been waiting all this time. Since your last game, your training, senior bowl, pro day, combine. You've just been waiting this whole time. And it seemed like this is about to happen right now. But you're still waiting on your name to be called, though. Falcons on the clock. All right, hopefully we go today. In a bit of a surprise, Drake London to the Falcons. It's interesting. I want him to take Malik. I want him to leave. Typical Falcons, messing yeah. up. Yeah. No QB in the top 10. I mean, Drake London, great wide receiver, but who's going to be throwing him the ball? Damn, Falcons. Everybody was projecting the Steelers, so I don't think anybody was expecting Atlanta. So, I mean, anything could go. We good, you know what I mean? We're pick 18 right now, Steelers pick at 20s. <sighs> Let's take this deep breath. Barring a trade, the Steelers at 20 are probably the next spot a QB could be taken. Oh man, like, you know, his, his name might be coming up. We've been waiting, every pick, we've been listening, we've been waiting. He's still there, so we got a chance. <sighs> Hurry up. Steelers are on the clock. And when the Steelers pick was coming up, we were like, all right, y'all, this is it. This is it. Like we gon' like we gonna see our dog make it. Like, you know, this is this is it. Your faith come into play and just understanding that everything happens for a reason. The Steelers go. Can he pick it? Hey, am I even gonna get picked? Steelers just took Kenny Pickett. We were hoping for Malik Willis. We don't do the evaluation. The front office has a lot more information, so you gotta trust the front office. If they believe in Pickett, I believe in Pickett. I'm knowing if we didn't go at 20, it's a good chance we ain't going in the first round. I think we're definitely gonna be waiting until the second round to see another quarterback taken. Yep, first round talent, but sometimes it doesn't always shake out that way. After the Steelers selected Kenny Pickett, I think that we all felt a level of stress. Cause you're in this room, you know everybody's looking at you, they wanna know what's going on, what's going on with you guys, and it's like, we don't control it. We waited, we waited for a call that didn't come. No Malik Willis. Sorry, right, so it's time to go. You know, we ain't sitting there no more. It's over. That night's over. So, 
Disappointment in the air? Absolutely. I done got dressed and came all this way to not go in the first. We talk about being competitive, we talk about winning, but you also got to know how to lose. How do you think the psyche of Malik Wills is... Somebody always gonna think you trash. I mean, that's just the way the game goes. Definitely has to be feeling a little disappointed right now. Came all this way to not go in the first. The first round is over and we had one QB taken. That's Kenny Pickett from Pittsburgh. He goes to the Steelers. Feels like it was just a giant question mark. All this hype around Malik. Family is very important to me. Yeah, dude. That's a generational change. Being able to take care of your family is different. That's something that everybody gets experienced. His whole career, he's been challenged. They said he's not a quarterback, not ready. I know what he went through. It's not the end of the world. I'm still blessed, you know. I still woke up this morning. My whole life, I ain't never seen a llama. You can see the herd in here. They're really intelligent, so what they'll do is wonder who you are. She won't hurt you. Look, you can put your hand out like this. She's seeing if you have carrots. Um, they'll put your hand. hand. You put your hand out. You can touch your chin. She will. <laughs> she won't hurt you. See, look, look, <laughs> look, look. Your petal. <laughs> I'm good. Are you hiding behind me? <laughs> yeah. I'm protecting the big football huge. player. I was scared to death of that llama. That thing was looking at me with the left side eye. Go ahead, old man. This is Figgy, who I told you about, who does yoga. Figgy will be your yoga partner today. It's cool if it's just over there. I ain't want to touch it for real. She has a very, very feminine face, I think. Man, I don't know. <laughs> <You> don't <laughs> I ain't going to act like I know the difference. <laughs> I don't know who I did that was. So we'll start on the mat. We're just bringing awareness to areas of your body that need a little bit more compassion. Dealers go with Kenny Pickett. Energetically, there's a lot of emotion that gets stuck in our joints if we don't process it. They say he's not ready. You gotta do something to make yourself. Competition. Goodbye, don't you cry. Thank you. I was kind of sad I didn't go first round. I just wanted to sit there and think about what just happened. Why did it happen? Here's a guy who has controlled his future. And now he just has to sit and wait. This posture is really good for cleansing negative emotions out of our body. It's so uncool. Oh, I'm sorry now, because I ain't go first round. We waited for a call that didn't come. So it's time to go. Take a deep breath in and just feel your lungs expand. What's going on? Oh, oh, like, I was nervous. Just tell me where I'm going, bro. All right, next up, we got Malik Willis. Thank you. Deep inside your body. Where can I go? Where will I go? Get up and down. Every pick that gets taken is a loss of money. You gotta know how to lose. Maybe you've got some emotional energy that needs to move through. I'm losing dollars. Hey, am I even gonna get picked? Our body really does keep the score. What's next for this kid? I don't know. I was tripping at first. Like the minutiae, every little, little, little detail. I think it's just the uncertainty. What's going through your head? Thinking that you potentially had a chance to go top five. Now, like it's understanding that everything happens for a reason. We have carrots. We have carrots. Oh, that feels so weird. You gonna fold or you gonna keep working? Just keep praying. Just keep going. You get knocked down, how fast you can get up. Whoever needs me, they'll come get me. In the car ride over, we're like, all right, y'all, let's, let's try not to like talk about it. We got to the little venue that they had rented out. So like, oh, dang, like, like what happened to everybody? Like, it was set up for like a post party. Unfortunately, the celebration wasn't the right celebration. My dad, he was like, we already paid for the room. We got to do something with it. The first round is over. Look, a lot of people are going to say, I told you so with Malik Willis. Yeah, I think a lot of teams view Malik Willis as a little bit more of a lottery ticket. You see these shots of him in the green room. It's brutal. It's brutal. He definitely looks a little bit defeated. I felt bad for all the people that were there for me, though. Like, dang, y'all came all this way to see me get drafted, and I ain't even get drafted. <laughs>
<laughs> on the first day. I thought he was going to be off that board at, at Pittsburgh. You know, all the visits went good, you know what I mean? Everybody say all the same stuff. Everybody trying to play poker. We talk about the emotional side of sliding down the draft board. I mean, pick 32, last pick of the first round, to pick 33, first pick of the second, is a $2 million difference in signing bonus. I'm sure all he wanted to do was just go back to the hotel room and just wait for day two. You know, at the end of the day, like, we're always going to be there for him and have his back. We're always going to turn it up. We don't care. We're we always going to turn it up. I told you. They let me know that it's with me regardless, and everything will happen like it's supposed to. I love music with a passion. Knowing what I know now, I wouldn't change anything more emotionally slow down. On game day, it's a variety of stuff I like to listen to. You gotta have something that'll calm you down, listen to a little R&B from back in the 70s and 80s. Then you gotta have like, I ain't gonna lie, your trap music, you gonna be turned up. I be needing that junk to turn me up. Let's start from the beginning. All right, beginning. Growing up, he's the same smiling person as he was as a kid. Lee, welcome to OT, brother. You know what I'm saying? This is the new spaceship of Atlanta for young athletes. Malik did not start off dominant. I'm little, I'm puny. I couldn't do nothing. Them boys were bigger than me. He was smart, he knew all the plays, and he was tough, so he could run, but his hands weren't big enough to throw that ball the way we need him to throw it. We should get a little game in. See what you made of. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I ain't Kyrie ain't James Harden, but I give you a couple. I ain't growing my body for real until like in the high school. Ninth grade, he had a growth spurt. Ah! You know, not basketball tall, but he had a spurt. <laughs> With that, his hands got bigger. When his hands got bigger, man, let me tell you how he throw that ball. First time I heard about Malik Willis is when he transferred from Westlake to Roswell. Appreciate you coming to get this food. Of course, family. You already know. Yes, sir. Uh, they let us know we had a QB coming in. I mean, he came in smiling and working. I mean, that's all like you could really ask for. It. So that's when he started to be dominant. When he first played, he was really, really raw. But everybody talked about how strong an arm he had. His ball always has energy on it. He was the clear cut, like leader of that team. You could tell that he was an alpha. That's all we need, man. Eh? Just one shot to end the game. That's what he do, clutch player. We smacking folks, for real. It was like cheating. It was like an all-star team. He accepted me as soon as I got up there. I was only up there for a year after I left Westlake. So I spent my senior year at Roswell. They act like I've been there my whole life. Them boys, they really like, you know, took me in. And then it's it's always like we locked in. Oh, oh, look, this is too crazy. And they got the school up there. IMG on steroids. Cash out on the White Tom and stop playing, bro. I need you in that black and gold for real. Nah, for real. I need him in that black and gold for real. All the wins, all the losses, like it's just finally gonna pay off, really. Just trying to see like what's going on. Like <laughs> a April can't come fast enough, really. <laughs> Day two is here. We got rounds two and three today. That had to have been a rough night for Malik. I mean, I'm sure he didn't sleep great last night. <sighs> I don't think so. But they invited him back to the draft. He's like, nah, I'm straight on that. You know what I mean? Because when like everybody left, like, oh man, I thought he was going first round, man. We'll see y'all back in Atlanta. Everybody stayed, man. And from here on, we're gonna keep it just like this. We like bowling anyway. We had done it a couple nights before and we figured that was the best way for everybody to be able to be in the same place. The Seahawks had a prime opportunity with back-to-back -back picks, but... Yeah, but do they have another pick in the next... Because the Lions there, right? Like, we're coming up with scenarios. Like, we're like, okay, well, this guy's almost at the end of his career. This guy, he's not that good going through every team's roster. So at 46, Detroit can come and get him. <laughs> Oh, Who? really? Who this? Houston. Oh, wow. Let's go. It's okay. We'll see you guys Like, what's going on? Like, we're going to get picked or not? Like, can we just speed this thing up? 
Because they start taking time in between every pig, commercials, all this and that. And it's just like, you just sitting there stewing. Every pick that gets taken is a loss of money. It's obviously like kind of an ego check, but it's also a wallet. Yeah, you thought you'd be done by now. Throughout this quarterback training journey, it's just like work, 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 work. You got the combine. Work, 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 work. Pro day. And then after that, it's a waiting game. And it's just like I hope I did good enough for you guys to see me as something you want in your ball club. It's crazy thinking back, just seeing how far football has taken me. So many people helped me get to this point. Now it's time to get back. I'm about to go surprise these kids at the middle school with some new gear for the season. Stay tuned. In the high school, I don't have no offers. I'm not no big recruit, because I just got on the field, and I ain't going to all these camps. This camp's expensive. See that star starting until halfway through his junior year. I used to put him with people that I knew could teach the position, but it wasn't consistent. Some because we were moving around, some because the finances wouldn't allow me to apply the training the way I wanted to. Dang, I'm just praying every night. I just get an offer, I get a scholarship, like I feel like I'm good enough. But then Auburn came in in the final hour and told him, hey, we want you to play quarterback. That was one of the wildest things. I think his first touch was an like, 80-yard touchdown or something like that. It was crazy. That's the first time I seen Malik Willis. This time Willis pulls it himself. He gets across the five, cuts across the goal line. My first memory with Malik was hearing 80,000 people. <sighs> Malik Willis touchdown. He was a true freshman. He just happened to be there. You know, he, he, was, he was learning. He was getting better, got bigger, got stronger, got faster. He's going to take care of business sophomore year. It was pretty cool until it wasn't, you know. I know a lot of people in this stadium, including these coaches, want to see more of Malik Willis. When you said things to turn it over, can you talk us through, give us some details about what happened? Yeah, let me make sure I say it the right way. He's got third down and six. Time to throw. It's behind. It's a play they on the goal line. Backed up on their own end zone. Here comes Stove in motion. They fake the jet sweep to him. Cam Barton, but a safety. Oh, he made that mistake? Oh, no, nah, we done with him. That's it. Now, that might not have been the case, but it sure felt like it. I ran like one play. If you, if you watch film, you knew that. Just has not thrown it very much this season. I'm not gonna say that people were stupid for not playing him, but people were stupid for not playing him. I didn't really think about all the external stuff you should think about when you go into college. You need to be like, who do they have committed? What's the coaching situation like? It wasn't like I was paying attention. I was just glad I had somewhere to go. I really asked him, like, are you serious about the things that you're doing, right? Are you? Are you sure you're willing to do all the things that are necessary in order for you to be successful at the college level? Because I didn't think that he was. Yeah, I needed that time to mature, for real, because I was childish. I think everything about me, not understanding the big picture of everything, and just, I just didn't know what to do. I had never been in that position before. After a long day of training, my body doesn't really hurt. It may more or less just be tired. Just want to lay down and get some rest. Relax and chill. Malik has to be wondering where he's going to end up tonight. That has to be a weird feeling for an athlete of his caliber where, you know, the ball's not in his hands. It was pretty down. Like I said, you know, we wanted it for him. You know, at some moments, it probably felt like we wanted it more than him. Dang, we've been here for a while. <laughs> we just gotta keep waiting. It's like nothing you can do. You can't make it go faster. And you can't tell somebody, hey, hurry up and pick me. You know what I mean? Huh? Yeah, I expect this? I thought you were going to, I thought you were going top 10. Yeah. Me too. Me too. I thought there was no way you could get this feeling that's funny. I 
I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna have it soon. Let's look. Thought that maybe it would go early in the second, but if not early in the second, I, f I knew it would be a while. It's a long time, just waiting. Second round goes by, the name's not called. You know, all those teams that need a quarterback, they're not picking a quarterback. You're just holding your breath, like, every time the, somebody's, like, picks in. The only thing that's bothered me is he deserves, like, he earns better. He, he deserved to be a first-round pick. I'm not next to Malik. Nor is his mom, cause she is losing her mind. I end up being a backup for two years. Willis nearly throws a pick. Then my junior year, there the spring, he told me I wasn't finna start. So I was like, dang, he could have told me this a while ago. You know what I mean? So next thing you know, man, uh, they start saying, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe you need to move to receive. We don't think he can play quarterback. Yeah, that was the last straw. It wasn't what he set out to do. He went to Auburn, wanted to finish at Auburn. But, you know, once things took a different turn, he was already mentally prepared to go start over again. Don't mean it was easy, because it was rough. And, and when I say rough, it was rough. It was tough though, bro. Like you trying to transfer, you don't have that much film. You know, you weren't like a big recruit. School's not just jumping. You know, what I'm saying take people out the portal. We had a drastic coaching staff change, and that's when um, Coach Freeze came in, and that's when Freeze started recruiting Malik really heavy. There was no tape of any significant snaps at all. Uh, do I believe that this kid can help us win football games was the primary question. Coach Freeze looked my son in his eyes and told him he believed in him, and I believed him. Crazy enough, I took a visit to Liberty. I had my verse of the day on my Bible app, and they had that verse up there in the indoor facility. Where there is the Spirit of the Lord, there is liberty. That same verse. Felt like a movie or some junk. But I knew I was going there then. When you transfer from a D1 school to another D1 school, you had to put in a waiver. Yeah, so that was before where they started allowing players, you know, transfer right away. And the waiver is for it. You can play right now. Because if not, you have to sit out a year. We do the appeal and we lose. So it's like, okay. Everybody else winning their appeal while we lose our appeal. That year was, you know, rough because of the rule he had to sit out. You got time to work on your game. You just had a lot of time. I just work hard as I could, bro. You're on scout team. You ain't never been on scout team. Every day, I'm trying to go crazy. Like, he definitely gave us the work. The eyes had to be perfect. I knew it wasn't too many players I was going to face that was going to be able to do that as well. been easy for him to just give up. It shaped him. Why am I working so hard and I can't even show it? You know you can't play Saturday. You can't even dress out. Just sucks. Sometimes he would, you know, get on himself like, man, I wish I could be out there. Man, I wish I could be out there. I'm like, bro, you gotta relax. Your time coming. You know, I have family and friends used to call me every week like, man, who is this Malik quarterback y'all got? Can't nobody tell me what? They know I'm built for this. Steady counting dirty money. Think that I'm filthy rich. Showed another zip, another I've been playing football since I was seven years old, and it's the stuff he was doing out there. I'm like, I ain't seen it before. Hey, don't worry, so let's go out there about that action. Rain tear, bless them, love the season like they bleed now. You know, we go. 11 and 1, just a little Christian school, they ain't gonna do nothing. First time being rain. That's program changing. The fan base was crazy. Man, I cried every game. Oh, we was two turns. We wanted Bama up. I'm Captain. We didn't want Bama. I ain't saying nothing else, bro. Brother, he a head hummer. I tried to bat the ice to gain some with some cold summer. 50 P's and 50 states and slipping days, we roll runners. We get them gone on the same day, no, we got all of them. 
after every game, we're back at the place. I'm like, believe bro, you're a superhero. Made for this, Lee. I promise you, I love you, bro. He's real, just like, you know, I'm just regular guy. The go, the go, seven, seven touchdowns. Boy, you a sheep. You better go on the field. <laughs> I told you, I don't know how many times I got to tell you, I'm a sheep. Oh yeah. You know, I remember the down part of the Auburn experience. And I remember where he was mentally. The person he is and how he's always smiling, how he's always giving, humble, positive, like, it's because of all of that. Hey, Malik Willis, really quick. Uh, Darrell Johnson, uh, according to the inside information, said you could eat 170 wings. Is there truth to that statement? Yeah, they are Atlanta wings. Pulling up to the middle school right now. Just super excited to prize these guys with the gear. Hey, y'all know who this is? Go check it out. Stop being scary. Come on up. So I went like a big recruit and all that stuff. So it was like you just had to keep working. One, two, three. Yeah, we have made it to the third round. Pick 74. Atlanta Falcons are on the clock. All right, let's see if Atlanta folds. You know what I'm saying? Who don't want to grow up and play in their hometown as a professional? You know, that would be that would be pretty cool for the hometown kid to come home and be the hero, you know, and lead Atlanta to possibly a Super Bowl one day. Atlanta is my town, but I want him to be happy. Something went wrong. I feel it. Well, when they're feeling like it. Because they're not going quarterback right now. That was a pretty intense moment. It was like, no, like, what's going to happen now? Desmond Ritter taking over Malik. Wow. What? What? Nah. But that, that can't be right. Here's a guy that we thought was going top 10, going to be the first QB taken off the board. Go to his hometown team, Atlanta Falcons. They pass on him in the third round as well. Are you f***ing kidding me? Uh, what? That's got to be a real punch in the gut right there. Oh my God. Oh my God, bro. That just got me so mad. Oh my God. My daughter, she was ready to drive to Atlanta from Vegas. You hear me? Not fly. She was going to try. What's going on? No, it's not. There's no way Atlanta just left him. I know you pissed. And I'm pissed. Mentally, it's just like, bro, like. Pick 86, the Tennessee Titans are on the clock. At that point, I'm playing damage control to the family members that's mad at the Falcons. Somebody say, hey, they ain't looking for you. He was like, about to get a call. Like, you hear somebody yell, like, and his phone's ringing. Go, go, go. Malik wasn't in the room, he was gone. So I go to the bathroom, I'm trying to go take a leak. I'm like, oh. Hello. It's like, they told us we couldn't even play the position. So it's like, wherever we go, we happy. Because you gotta understand where he came from. Like, just a couple years ago, he wasn't even sure if he was gonna do anything but graduate and get his degree. You seen everybody run over there, and leaks crying. And all the work that I had put in just came to fruition. I'm real, for real. I'm changing my life. We are right now, that's for sure. <laughs> yes, sir. The top almost came off the room right there. Being able to take care of your family, that's different. That's something not everybody gets experience. I know that's important to me. Lee's family is a really big deal. Tennessee Titans are up. Let's see who they select. Movie! Dry eyed in that bowling alley, man. It was the coolest thing ever. Just to see him fight through all that adversity for years. Just like, wow, he did it. And that's basically what they faces were saying. If it 
and tears of, you know what I'm saying, from crying. It was tears from just laughing so hard because it's just so unbelievable. But that, that whole road, that whole journey. Everybody touch somebody. Everybody touch somebody. Lord, just thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for bringing us all here together. And we made it safely. Thank you for putting me in this position because it, it's only your plan. They can say what they want and they can say where we need to be, but you only want to know where we really need to be. That's we just, you know, we on to the next and just follow you and just be faithful. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. If you play football and you don't dream of the NFL, personally think there's like something wrong. Being able to see him accomplish that dream, I loved it. Yeah, right there is amazing. <laughs> you know, the path to the draft had finally closed. What was a dream at one point was actually reality. We headed to Nashville right now. I'm excited about my new home. I'm definitely excited for the next chapter. Just continuing to grow on and off the field. And just keep working hard towards what I want. You know, most people thought I was gonna go in the first. At the end of the day, like, I was okay with it. Like, I was blessed. I was like, all you need is an opportunity. It was just a moment you can't repeat. <laughs> I'm starving. Little oh, poppy, going to work. That's what I like to do. I like to take care of my friends. So they take care of me. Nice. <laughs> Enjoying the people that surround you, that's the biggest thing. You can't get so caught up in, you can't take no money with you. I don't care how rich you get, you can't take it with you. Oh, dang. We ain't asking nobody's vegan. A little too late for that. <laughs> <laughs> we train all year round for 12, maybe 13 days out the year. And it's all the moments in between that you take in and really cherish. I'm a child, for real, man. When am I gonna grow up? Hey, man. You don't have to, as long as you're responsible. I've made plays, <laughs> you know, I've had big hits. None of them really come close to that feeling with my boys. Thank you, sir. What I do now? Enjoying the people that surround you, that's the biggest thing. <laughs> yeah, dude. Having those memories, having those experiences. That's all you got at the end of the day. Dear God, thank for his day. Thank for his wonderful time here in Nashville to be able to see our good friend Malik. Let Malik have a good camp that starts here in the next couple days and let him just turn it up and show the people what he can do. That second contract, if he kills it like I know he will, that second contract comes real fast. Frustrating period of time, but gonna light a fire on him. Every team pass on him. He gets the opportunity to show them why they should have made that mistake. Malik was playing quarterback, and he ran the ball. He lowered his shoulder and was like, I'm going to get physical. We're booming. And he's going to be the face of a franchise. People at Liberty love this dude, not just because he's good, because he's a leader, and people follow him. I brag about him. I tell people, hey, I know Malik Willis. The game is going to give you adversity, but every day, Malik has the same smile on his face. It's unwavering joy. I used to say happy, but my grandma always tell me, don't say happy, say joyful, because joy comes from inside, and happiness comes from whatever it happens on the outside. I'm not going to lie, bro. That shit made me cry. Like, I was so proud of y'all. Understanding where real joy comes from it makes everything that much smoother. <laughs> <laughs> you woke up this morning, bro. You in good shape. You get one life. Enjoy it. Are y'all talking like the end of movies when they be just talking and the captions going? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny, bro. Whoa! You've been waiting all this time since your last game, training, senior bowl, pro day, combine, the complete change of your lifestyle as you know it. The uncertainty of where you going. Uh, when I started this process, it's a pre-draft process. I mean, this our body is how we gonna make money. I mean, our body and our mind, but uh, we just gotta take care of our bodies and understand how long we wanna play this game and what it takes to do that. He's, he's gonna feel good or not good, depending on how he eats, um, especially with him. He might feel bloated, things like that, so. I'm a physical therapist, strength coach, um, with a lot of these guys that kinda handle their programming, nutrition, 
everything from point A to point B leading up to the combine. Kind of have my finger on everything that's going on along with the other guys that work here. Cooking one of the old traditional meals that me, Noah, Tyron, and the boys used to have. We made them steak and uh, potatoes with the uh, broccoli. Oh yeah, that was good, man. I like that meal. Well, I've seen I've seen Malik take down multiple burgers, multiple wings, and stuff. So, you know, anything goes with him. Yeah, I was cooking for y'all, but I also like to eat. I'm gonna toss them in some barbecue sauce because uh, Noah and the guys and Malik they used to um, they love barbecue sauce. They don't they don't dip nothing else but in barbecue sauce. The amount of barbecue sauce you used to see them go through is ridiculous. I, I actually played Malik when he was at Auburn. Um, my sophomore year, he scored a touchdown against me. <laughs> you know, when I when the guys came back, you know, all they were talking about was how he was lighting them up. Um, he came to me and Nate's apartment, and we all hung out, had some guys over, kind of started, you know, the whole kicking it, cooking food, chilling, the whole nine, you know. Before we start, man, you guys want to bless this food? Of course and turn around the next semester, I ended up recruiting him to come to Liberty. It's just like the bond just started forming and the brotherhood just started going from there. In the name of Jesus, amen. 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 It was really cool. Uh, I got to spend one year with Malik, you know, and kind of establish that friendship, relationship um, type deal. Being along for the ride, like it's been really like cool and like really kind of inspiring because you know it, it would have been easy for him to just give up. He for sure set a standard now because you know now the standards are winning. You know if it's if the bowl game or nothing now at this point. In that time period, seeing him grow as a player and as a man, like that was really, that was really cool. It was like a storm brewing up. It was just like, just grinding, just swinging the ax every day, you know? And when it was his time to go out there and get right, he got right. 100%. And like I could tell, like you kind of almost have to like match his energy. Awesome dude, crazy athleticism, awesome quarterback. But other than that, he's he's a really great guy. Hello. I'm lactose Hey, mom. How you doing? Sorry, guys. Mama Dukes is worried. I haven't checked in today. Uh, that's on you. Can I say hey? <laughs> right, Malik says hello. I'm born and raised here like my whole life. So the first time we probably met was, I mean, you might've walked in school or something, but the first time we like linked up was probably at workouts and then we went straight back to my neighborhood pool, you already know. We just, I mean, we would, we spent the whole summer pretty much at my neighborhood pool, like me, him, and the whole team. Like, me and Malik were pretty much inseparable. I done been on the area side of Atlanta. I got family on the area side of Atlanta. So I played football all around on the east side, on, on the west side. And like, you know, even I, when I played for Atlanta Vikings, we was right there uh, off 20. It's just, I feel like, and then I go to Roswell on the north side. I done been all around the city, like for real. Like, uh, this is really my hometown. Like. I can see my dog, you feel me? And then just like, you know, I feel at home, man. After April, we don't know where we're gonna be, so at the end of the day, I wanna spend as much time as my family as I can before we gotta go to work. And it's so exciting to see like how far we've come from Roswell to college, just, I mean, him bouncing around, me staying in one place. It's just like, all the wins, all the losses, like it's just finally gonna pay off, really. You just gotta be prepared to pick up everything you know, like Atlanta, and then just leave and go wherever, you know, they want you, so. Uh, I just understand the fact that 
Yeah, how bad do you want that job, you know? Uh, you work your whole life to get the job and you don't, you know, whine about you having to relocate? I don't think so. At the end of the day, everything happened for a reason and they got flights and we come back in the off season. <laughs> yeah, that's all. We're gonna be back here. Exactly. Uh, all I can say is like, I enjoy being home. That's why I picked my draft prep to be here. You know, I can see my family, but I can work hard too. Leak, Leak, you lose, you'll get one. My legs loose. from Malik Willis are as exciting as it gets in this class. I mean, you got Willis, QB1, totally get it. You want to gamble on the upside, totally get it. I am, as much as anybody else, going to preach, like, swing for the fences, swing big. That's what drafting Malik Willis is. Well, if you're going to do it like that, then I wouldn't let you take a rep either. What I did wrong? You were just hella slow. You gave, like, that half speed. Like, ah, you know, more minute than I took care of my legs. I hear you. Like the half hour you were here early when you could have stretched out. <laughs> but go all down. the way there and get the elbow elevated. He is a first read quarterback through and through. Yeah. Really good job. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've seen people say we should spend a top 10 pick on him. I've seen people say he's a third to a fourth round prospect. And I think that's all within the realm of reasonable possibility. Highest upside in this class. I'm just out here having a good time. Enjoy it, bro. You get one life. Enjoy it. Overtime Fits keeps blessing me with all these fits, and you can cop them all too. Head over to the OT shop and peep some of these new drops. All you gotta do is click the link below.